For the past five years, a family has brought their miniature horses to the beach, but now they say the city is telling them they have to pay up if they want to continue offering rides to kids. Our Brenda Matuti has more. Marty Knowles and his wife live in Rivera and about two to three times a week head to the beach with one of their many miniature horses. We harness them up like you see. We've got this wagon and we go up and down the beach uh, on, on the water line. For the past four years, Knowles has offered children and sometimes adults free rides on his wagon drawn by his miniature horse Sugar Ray. Usually four, five, sometimes 12, 13. Once in a while, a crazy older person will jump on. He doesn't charge, but he does accept donations. But as of last week, Knowles was told he could no longer offer free rides unless he registered with the city as a vendor and paid the vendor permit fees. Never had any trouble. Uh, we've worked with the, the beach parks and recreation before, and they were more than happy to let us do it. We reached out to the Department of Parks and Recreation regarding the rules for vendors. They responded, saying someone is considered a vendor the moment money exchanges hands. There is also a city ordinance in place regarding horse-drawn carriages. If it's a horse-drawn carriage, then they need to have extra liability insurance. They added that if Knowles chose to ride his miniature horse on the beach by himself, he would not be breaking any rules. Brenda Matuti, Action 10 News. However, even if Knowles does register as a vendor, according to the Department of Parks and Rec, mobile vendors are not allowed on the beach. Okay. Good to know. How about Lenny?